Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to look at something that has been disturbing a lot of people. And one of the major problems people have is alignment issues. When they are laying out their website, there's always this concern, always this issue about alignment. And some people always find it difficult to get things to align exactly the way they want. And sometimes that forces people to, you know, sort of hack their way out of the issue. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the common problems people face or you may have faced when you're working with card layouts, uh, product cards, service cards, what sort of card you may be working with. We're going to take a look at some of the common alignment issues and how to solve them. Now, I have a card layout here. This is a product card. Uh, we have the image, we have the, uh, the, you know, the product title, we have the product price and the add to cart button. Let's take a look at how this is being laid out because your, your setup is really important to solving whatever issues you have. Now I have my section and container standard. Okay. And then I have a block. This block is my main card. So I'm just going to rename it to product card. And this is a loop item. So uh, I've already queried four products. So I don't need to go into that. This video is focused on the alignment issues. I'm not going to be focused on other things, you know, just the alignment issues. So I have a product card here and then this is my image wrapper. So this is the product image wrapper. Now, I've separated the image from the, you know, the other contents uh, because I want to, you know, I want to be able to control them separately because of specifically because of paddings and spacings. So you want to, wanna, you want to separate that. So you don't want all of them to be together. This is usually the case, you know, you want to do this, especially when your image, you know, go from age to age. But this product, this image actually goes from age to age, but it has a white background with it. So uh, nonetheless, you still want to do that. Now you can see that my product image doesn't have a top, you know, and bottom white. Okay. And that's because this white is part of the image, but we could just uh, go in here and just give it uh, a padding top of, let's say two rem. Oh, uh, that's two rem. Okay. And then I can just take that and put it at the bottom. Now, just to make it look a bit okay. Now, let's go on to see what problems are we having with this. So I'm going to save this. Uh, let's check it out on the front end. So you can see that the first problem, the very first problem we see here is the height of the cards are different. And why is that so? That is because some of these uh, cards have the product title uh, wrapped into two lines. Let's uh, deal with the fact that they don't even have a padding. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to select this content wrapper. I'm going to give it a padding of, let's say, 2 rem all around and uh, I probably want to take this the one of the top up out so let's do that to rem yep so I'm gonna just make this zero because we already have enough padding here so layer so yeah so we have our paddings but the problem is uh you see the cards are different and for the reason I mentioned earlier and in some cases you still want the full name of the product to show you don't want to reduce the font size uh, because you might say, okay, if I reduce the font size, all of them are going to go into one line. But what in a situation that you do not want to reduce the font size? So in that case, uh, we're going to see how we're going to make this work. Now, if you are using now, how did we, first of all, your layout, your layout matters. So how did you, uh, how did we lay out this? Now we are using flex here and we set it to, uh, to the flex direction to row to horizontal. Okay. And for flex layout, we see that, uh, we have this issue. So how do we solve that? Now, the first thing you're going to do is to make sure you set your alignment. Okay. To align cross axis to stretch. As you can see, that solves the initial problem. So we have our product aligned, all of them, the same height. That's the first problem solved. Now, the second problem is you want the add to cart buttons to be on the same line. You want them to be on the same horizontal plane. Okay. Now, so, um, now one of the first things someone is going to tell you is that, oh, all right, go give it a, a margin top auto that's going to align it. So we just run in. Okay. That's what I would do also. That's what everyone that knows margin top auto solves the problem is going to do. So we're just going to go there and type auto serve it and nothing happens. Are you wondering why Every, everyone was telling you do margin top auto? So why is it why why is it not moving? Nothing works here. Okay, 
and you may be tempted to go in here and start you know messing around with the alignment issues this okay just stretch this apart you know now you don't need to do any of that okay just leave that alone now the reason this is not working is because the content wrapper doesn't fill in the remaining space of the parent okay so i'm just going to give it a background so we can see what is happening we can visualize what is going on here so i'm just going to give it that background maybe yellow okay okay something like that now i want us to visualize what is going on here so um we see that that doesn't you see that doesn't move all the way to the end but this does because the content pushes that wrapper all the way down but this doesn't so you are uh, auto margin top auto is not going to work so i'm going to go in and m remove that auto for now now what you're supposed to do in this case is to make sure that this wrapper grows to fill in that gap and you're using flex okay we're using flex here and this product card is also flex you see so that means you have the items are flex children that means you can control them using the flex child controls so i'm going to come to this wrapper contents wrapper and then i want it to grow and fill up the space so i'm going to change the flex grow to one and that fills it up now when that fills it up now you could go ahead and change the add to card uh button margin up to auto and that is going to align it to the bottom okay so you see they're all properly aligned now i'm going to give this a gap okay so i want to give this content gaps because they are close to each other so let's just give that a content gap a row gap of let's say two rem oh nope that is wrong too much one rem should be fine or 0 0.6 rem okay now so we have that now, so that introduces another problem, or that makes another problem obvious. So what if you want the prices to be on the same line? What are you going to do? Now, before we move on to that, let's backtrack, okay? So I'm just gonna uh, quickly backtrack and go back to the container here and remove this. So uh, reintroduce the first problem. And I wanna show you the next thing you can do. If you wanna solve this problem, now this problem is very specific to flex layout. If you don't want to have this first problem that we encountered, what you're going to do is to use greed. Greed just takes away that initial problem. So I'm going to change this to greed. As you can see, that automatically just fixes everything. I mean, the initial problem of this, this content wrapper not growing. So it fixes it. Now, I've already set uh, my grid setting. So don't worry, I've already set that here. But like I said, this tutorial is focused on greed. Sorry, it's focused on the alignment so now not not the not how to get the you know the columns and all that so now let's move on to the next one uh the next one is how do we get this to align to the bottom let's see so we have this and this and we want this to align you know always be right on top of the auto card button and if you go in here and give this a margin top of auto that could work but it's not working well let's see uh so you can see that uh we have a problem there it's not aligning you know if i could do i have something to use here you can see that it's not aligning okay it's not aligning it's not just aligning you can see that okay so margin top auto is not working so let's go back in i'm just going to take that out so why is it not working uh we already have a margin top auto here now the reason it's not working is because uh this margin top auto is sort of pushing back now let's return that auto here uh this margin top auto is also pushing it so if i you know remove this and you know have that now this one is going to push this one all the way down so you see it's going to push this all the way down so um i remove the margin top auto from the auto card button and put it here so it pushes it down so let's see and then brings everything there now another way you could do it is depending on the setup is if you had you know if you didn't have that okay you could simply go to the product title okay and then go here and you can see that there is no flex item there's no flex control for the you know for this product 
Uh, what you could do is we want to set this product to grow a flex grow of one we want it to always push everything down okay so i'm going to go to the custom css and then i'm going to just go root root selects that element open and close and then i'm going to set set the flex grow uh the flex grow to one so let's see uh you can see that grows to one just pushes everything down i'm going to go ahead and save it and then preview and that solves the problem now this doesn't require auto margin auto here and here okay it doesn't require that this just solves the problem at one go it just pushes all of them so no matter how long your uh, product title is this is always going to align the prices are always going to align at the same level and the add to card button are always going to align at the same level and then if you want to take a look at if this is responsive or not you can see that even at responsive everything still you know works the way it's supposed to work okay So those are the common ways to solve alignment issues in cards. So depending on how you lay out your cards, uh, even if you had a card that, you know, it's everything is together like that, okay, where you have, you don't have this, and this is together, uh, you could always figure out a way to solve it. Let's save this, and uh, then we have that. You can see that that flex, you know, the flex control, of, on this still pushes everything and it aligns so it all depends on how you set up your card but one thing you should remember is uh what i'm gonna do here is to go ahead and yep and just set that uh to two rem also now i'm saying assuming that you wanted to design these kind of cards where everything is in one okay so you see that you can still solve that problem with applying that flexible one here so there you have it solving common alignment issues in cards if you think this was very helpful, go ahead and smash that like button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other video that I bring your way. Until next time, have a great day and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.